We continue watching the tropics as we track the development near Mexico. Chief Meteorologist David Paul joins us with more on that. Hi, David. Hi, guys. Well, here we go. There's a new tropical system or a potential tropical system forming in the southern Gulf of Mexico. Now, uh, Dr. Michael Brennan is the director of the National Hurricane Center, and he joins us now. And Dr. Brennan, you and I at the Hurricane Conference spent a lot of time talking about yep. these weak systems, these disorganized systems, and this one may make landfall hundreds of miles away from Houston, oh. but it is the yep. inland flooding, the inland rainfall that's going to be the greatest threat. Yeah, that's right, Dave. And, you know, this big sprawling system you see here, we have a broad area of low pressure here in the southern Gulf of Mexico, but you can see all the clouds, the showers and thunderstorms extending hundreds of miles to the north and east of that system. And that's what's really going to affect, you know, southeast Texas, the Houston Galveston area, not just with heavy rainfall, especially as we get into Tuesday and into Wednesday, where we could see significant flooding and flash flooding, but also coastal flooding with uh, two to four feet of inundation in places like Galveston Bay. Yeah. So, uh, Dr. Michael Brennan, uh, National Hurricane Center director, what is your message for folks on the coast in Galveston and inland in the Houston area uh, who potentially were facing some heavy rain. We're already 10 inches ahead or so for on our yeah. rainfall for the year. So, you know, it looks like flooding is, is a decent threat this uh, next several days. Yeah, this is sort of the risk of flash flooding as we get from, say, you know, t tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning into Wednesday morning. And you can see the Houston Galveston area, southeast Texas is painted with the highest risk that we see here. And that's going to continue as we go into Wednesday as well. And so as a result, we've got flood and flash flood watches in effect for the entire area. And then we also have you know, coastal flood warnings in effect. So along that coastline uh, in the Galveston Bay area, where you have the combination of the heavy rainfall in the Houston metro area and the coastal flooding, we could see some significant flooding issues. So folks want to know if they live in a flood prone area, take those precautions now, know what you might need to do if you're asked to leave your home. Yeah, that's exactly right. If you live in a flood prone area, if you know you flood here in the Houston area and it rains heavily, Watch carefully, be prepared for action. You know, Dr. Brennan, there's another interesting uh, wrinkle here right now. We had uh, several weeks ago a uh, derecho come through and it knocked down thousands of trees. Uh, we've been picking up debris for the past several weeks, yeah. but many of our drainage ditches are still clogged with debris. And now with this incoming rain, we could see flooding in places that people aren't used to seeing it. Yeah, and that's a good message, you know, folks, if you can go clean out those ditches, clean out those drains in your neighborhood, that can do a lot to help alleviate the flooding, especially as it rains very quickly. Those high rain rates in urban areas can lead to that sort of flash in urban flooding. And, you know, again, the, regardless of the heavy, of where the heavy rainfall occurs or the track of the center, that heavy rainfall is going to extend well to the north. So don't pay too much attention to whether the system goes on and becomes a tropical depression or tropical storm. Just know that that heavy rainfall is on the way. All right, Dr. Brennan, thank you so much for your time. We'll stay on top of it and watch it closely and stay in touch with you over the next several days. Cheryl, back over to you. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, guys. In the last hour, the city of Houston laid out its storm plans. You can follow the latest right now on KHOU.com. We also have the KHOU 11 Hurricane Preparedness Guide with important information like checklists and evacuation routes.